hey what's up guys it's cypher fortnite just dropped a secret update for chapter three that just buffed and nerfed just about every single new gun in the game i guess epic saw what was happening with the spray meta and decided they wanted to do something about it and change things up we're seeing some significant changes to some of the powerful weapons like the mk7 and we have some shotgun buffs as well and epic's actually acting pretty quickly on this which is great to see i was worried that maybe this was going to take a very long time before we saw any significant changes but let's go over the changes and talk about them and let's see if they actually are going to make a significant difference or if more needs to be done for the changes to really feel like they have an impact we'll start off with the first thing that's the mk7 strongest assault rifle we've ever seen in the game okay and it's so good that people were using it as an smg and it was really good at applying pressure to walls and the hip fire accuracy was also really good with it in the close range so this thing almost had no weaknesses but what epic has decided to do is they have decided to nerf the uh hip fire of the mk7 as you can see the crosshair is a little bit bigger and as i'm moving around as well the crosshair is definitely noticeably bigger so it's going to be less accurate with the hip fire and it's also going to do less damage to builds and structures so if someone's behind a wall and you're trying to uh spray their wall it's going to take a lot more bullets to break the wall which means you're going to be reloading more and not be able to put as much pressure on your opponent as you would like to but this thing is still pretty insane and it's still probably the go-to ar just because of how accurate it is with the red dot and the damage output is still ridiculously good they did buff the ranger assault rifle kind of like the ak variant and to be honest with you the ranger was extremely weak you see this gun is still fantastic i'm gonna go grab that auto attack shoddy i got a couple purple ones these also got changed but the ranger got a damage increase and accuracy increase although i don't think it's enough to justify using it because it's oh you know what i noticed this is definitely a little bit faster okay so the ranger got a damage increase by one for all rarities and a accuracy increase so not not too bad is it comparable to the mk7 i don't think so i think the mk7 is still gonna be the go-to weapon i don't think anything really comes close to this thing um it's just too versatile and it works really well with the sliding mechanic like you can slide in ads and still have really good accuracy but when you slide with other weapons you know it's it's not going to pay off as much and this thing shoots really fast and does insane damage but i do like that they're making some changes i think i think there could be more changes done specifically for the ranger i feel like the ranger should feel less like a ak more like a scar i'm gonna try to pick it up and see like how it actually feels and handles but that's what they did with the assault rifles some changes were made but let's talk about the shotguns okay you notice the pullout time of the auto shot is a lot faster so they buffed the pullout time it had a very very slow pullout time and it made it very awkward to use like after an edit but you can see that the animation is even quicker after an edit it's it's pulling out a lot faster it's gonna allow you to shoot a lot quicker the only issue with this gun still in my opinion is the reload time we're talking 7.6 seconds to reload that's still too much in my opinion that's still too too slow of a reload it makes it really awkward to use mid fight because as soon as you get, start having to reload you run into some big trouble i could so i definitely want to see the reload time sped up for the auto shoddy now they also buffed the striker shotgun and they did some decent buffs for this one they speaking of the striker let's pick it up and try to use it they made it more accurate and they increased the firing frequency so it shoots more frequently now you can see you can actually see that the mk is doing less damage to structures but i, I don't know by how much we're talking here oh that's actually the the fire rate is actually really good because usually in that scenario i'm not able to shoot fast enough after a shot i wonder if the fire rate is like kind of normal now compared to the old pumps let me see 
it still might be just a tiny bit slower than the old pumps but it's definitely fast enough to where you can make quick edit plays and actually feel like it's rewarding as opposed to just standing there and looking lost let's go upgrade this thing to like purple so it can really tell as far as accuracy con is concerned the spread is tighter it's more in line with the pump now before it had a much wider spread which made it a lot harder to hit like hard hitting pump shots because like this thing this thing i've hit 150 plus with it before it's just like it's kind of rare to do because you have to be really close to get that tight spread but now it looks like the spread is tight enough to where we can actually potentially use this and, and get some hard hitting hits so let's go ahead and upgrade real quick and see what's going on guys be sure to subscribe we have a lot of chapter three content coming your way there's a lot of new viewers watching the videos and i want you guys to miss out also if you guys want to support me go check out metal umbrella my clothing brand our second collection is up and available and so is some pieces from the first collection and i appreciate every single one of you who have been showing a lot of support and copping that merch chapter three has been an absolute blast so far and you guys are showing a lot of support on everything twitch youtube social media metal umbrella across the board i appreciate you guys thank you so here is the question epic has nerfed the mk slightly it's still super super strong it's just not gonna do as much pressure when people are building and it's not gonna be as good to use as an smg but i think if you get close enough it's still gonna be pretty decent but are they gonna nerf the smgs the stinger smg people were rocking double stinger i, I dropped a 16 elimination win super easily with a double stinger this smg is, is brutal right it, it's kind of like I described it as like the P90 mixed with the rapid fire, right? It's not as fast as the rapid fire. It's got a slower reload time and slower fire rate, but it's got the damage output in the in the magazine of, of, a, of a P90. So it's like, it really is like a mix of both and has some really uh, like great advantages from both of them. This thing is brutal. You know, are they gonna nerf it? If they nerf it, I think the main thing they should do is just reduce the damage. I do like the fire rate and I do like the pressure it applies and I think that should stay because it's like preventing people from like just boxing up and turtling is pretty important. Oh my God. That MK, man. Guys, yeah, hit me really good with that striker. I kind of want to use the striker against them and actually see if I can get some good damage output on this guy. Do it. See, it feels a lot better. It feels a lot better to use. The fire rate is definitely noticeable. Oh my God, this guy had some really good weapons. Like it, it's just a, it's feeling like just a weaker version of the pump now. Before, I feel like the striker, like the striker felt like a makeshift shotgun. Like it didn't, it didn't feel like a full fledged shoddy. It felt like, it felt like it was a makeshift, like an upgraded makeshift. Like if you have a purple makeshift, that's what the striker felt like. Same thing with the uh, the auto shotgun. I still think the auto shotgun is going to suffer from the reload time. It, it has insanely slow reload time, and, and I have a feeling that that's going to be enough of an issue to justify. I need to get a hard hitting hit with this thing. All right, all right. I mean, I feel like I'm consistently hitting these 84 body shots. It's, I think that's max damage with the striker body shot. Uh, it's a little bit less than max damage. You can hit for 100. As I'm approaching the end game, I'm probably ready to make a verdict on this change. You guys know I made a video, you know, telling you guys you don't need to use shotguns. And you probably can still use double SMG and do some ridiculous damage. But I do think that now with these changes, it's not that shotguns are going to be dominant, but it's probably worth running a striker shotgun i don't know about the tack i still think the tack is a liability the auto shotgun you know it's 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 gonna be solid now because of the you know faster pull out time but as soon as you start having to reload you're gonna you're gonna feel really sluggish and it's gonna cost you and a good player will punish you i think the striker now is worth using especially if it's blue purple gold rarity you just don't want to rely on it heavily you want to mix it into your gameplay but still primarily focus on using like the stinger and the mk to weaken your opponent but definitely definitely work on the shotgun again because i don't think this is going to be the last buffs we see i think there's going to be more buffs coming in with the shotgun sheesh i just showed up and cleaned up 
Now, Epic also made a buff to one of the heals. The uh, Guzzle Juice heals four times as fast now. So it's going to give you four health per tick instead of one. I think this is a good change because, uh, in my opinion, the uh, Med Spray was like is like really powerful and it, it makes the Guzzle Juice feel kind of weak in comparison. So this is, a, this is a strong change. Guzzle Juice might actually be worth... I mean, it was already worth using, but I would always prioritize the Med Spray over the Guzzle Juice. But now it might actually be worth worth rocking the guzzle juice epic also uh disabled hiding in tents i don't know why they did that i think there are some bugs like tents one-shotting vehicles they would also break armored walls although i thought that was pretty cool i think there's maybe some there were some infinite healing strategies in storm with the tent and epic wanted to remove that from the game for the time being until they can fix it you, you can see that the the mk7 is not doing as much damage to these walls it's taken a while i might as well pull out the smg here yeah that's actually a lot a lot better a lot faster oh that's actually beautiful man two 100 plus hits quick quick edits quick shots i definitely noticed the increased fire rate it doesn't feel as awkward to use as it used to be this is a really solid update from epic and it's also pretty quick it's only been uh, a few days of the new chapter and they're making a quick change to the shotgun so they're they're definitely reacting fast and this is pretty effective like even if you feel like this might not be enough like we might still be in a spray meta which we probably are this is definitely combat like combating it and it's a solid first bounce update like really solid across the board every, every change that they just made has been like good some of them even more effective like i really feel like the striker feels just like, like a weaker version of the pump now as opposed to just whatever it was feeling before you know it was way too weak before i'm holding this guy out of storm with the mk oh are they fighting oh no he's just launching i wonder if there's a way for me to break that bush from up here Bruh, this guy's slippery. This dude still in the bush or what? What's the deal? Hey, yo. Get out of there, pal. kind of mean but he's, he's breaking from the bottom bro all right gg what do you guys think of this new update i think it's fantastic and there's more to come so be sure to like and subscribe